Hello Moglets, today we're demonstrating some AR-40 artifact runs, a lot of them as a matter of fact. We're gonna check how many 5 stars we get, check out the general state of artifact farming at AR-40. We'll do a little bit of math with my somewhat small sample size here kind of give a general percentage of 5 star drops at AR-40. I have heard at least one 5 star is guaranteed when you get to AR-45, so that is something to consider. I already knew this from the start, but I just wanted to start farming artifacts. I probably will save like half of my fragile resin for 45 perhaps, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to get some decent sets on my units, so I went ahead and started farming them anyway. So the first 40 or 50 runs or so are just going to be uh, really quick screenshots of the drops and the rest I was doing on stream so it's going to be a sort of stream highlights after that for the quick screenshot drops I'm going to have a little sound effect because it's going to be going by pretty quick um, if there was no five star and a different sound effect if there is going to be a five star for no five star we'll have like and then when we do get a five star we'll have nice you ready let's go nice 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 So now we're going to take a look at the 5 star artifacts that dropped, I'll give some quick thoughts on each of them. Crit damage main, attack percent, elemental mastery, other two subs are garbage. Um, it's alright in general for a 5 star, because they are kind of still hard to get. I believe I did end up raising this one, or a different royal mask 5 star with crit damage main. Then we have a 5 star chivalry piece with uh, defense, HP, crit rate, it's kind of meh because I don't really care about this set in particular, it's just the same set that drops with uh, oblige, which we were also going for. Starts with all percent subs though, so it, I, I can't say it's horrible. Then we have a viridescent piece here. It has physical damage bonus as a main and this is for Venti, so it's automatically trash. Chivalry set, crit damage main, not horrible. Subs again are pretty mediocre and I don't like the set anyway, so overall pretty meh. Here's another royal mask. It has energy recharge, but then flat HP and defense. So again, I mean, energy recharge is very nice for Mona, which is who I was planning on giving this set to. Then we got a Maiden Beloved piece while farming Viridescent. I actually raised this one to plus 20 because it just started out so well. Uh, and this is for Barbara. So HP, energy recharge, elemental mastery, just like three very, very good subs for her. Unfortunately, the fourth sub was crit damage and that got boosted. So uh, DPS Barbara, I guess. But yeah, overall, not exactly what I was going for during these runs, but I'll take it anyway. Then we got a chivalry set feather, again, don't care about the set, subs aren't that good anyway, there's attack on it, so whatever, but yeah. Maiden beloved feather, no HP percent on it, so meh for Barbara, defense, flat HP, flat defense, pretty bad all around. Chivalry mask, main stat, crit damage, and then we have literally flat attack, HP, defense, defense for a DPS set, cool. Maiden Beloved Goblet, main stat attack, obviously not good for Barbara. Maiden Beloved Circlet, main stat defense, obviously not good for Barbara. Another Maiden Beloved Circlet, main stat defense, not good for Barbara. Maiden Beloved Goblet with Hydro Damage bonus plus 7%. I really think they're trying to give me a DPS Barbara. Well, maybe we should try it. And I think this one pissed me off the most. I might go over this during the stream. Pyro Damage bonus on a Viridescent piece, which has a two piece set with Animo Damage. You know? Why? Why Why does this even exist? Then we got another Maiden Flower, but as you can see up there, I had already raised the other one to 20, which was better anyway. And finally from these runs, we have a Viridescent Crit Rate, which I believe I did raise as well. Apparently I'm trying for a Crit Venti, we'll see how it turns out. But yeah, that was it for those runs. For all the other runs, I do go over them during the stream, so you can check that out in a second. Right now, actually, passing it over to Stream Moga. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I think I see actually three. Wow, that's insane. I mean, one of them is for sure just an upgrade material, but I think there are two five-star artifacts in there. Conductor's Top Hat, Gladiator's Triumphus. I need a good Gladiator's Triumphus. We actually have a five and a four-star, and, and then we got a Tale of Bo Boreas as well, of course, for the upgrade mats. I'm gonna check those out real quick, give me a sec. So here's the Top Hat. Crit rate, 4.7. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, crit rate, energy recharge. Not bad stats, I just wouldn't know right now who to give it to. And please be a good main. Attack! Crit rate, elemental mastery. It's not bad. Hmm. Oh wait, that's the hat though. I would think I need crit chance there. Or crit damage, but not attack. Come on. Three, three, 
three. Please don't tell me that's one. Okay, no, we got three. Ooh, nice. I'm actually surprised one of them is just the upgrade material, but concert's final hour. Devalin's plume, of course. Uh, and another concert's final hour. Well, we're gonna check them to see if they're good. Attack seven, elemental mastery, flat attack, flat defense, very, very sad. They're both kind of meh, honestly. Especially because it's like a support set. It's the hourglass, which also has elemental mastery on it. And I think the, uh, what? Something else that's important besides attack for supports. I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think about it though. When I did this yesterday, when I hit AR40, it only dropped one per boss, but this time we got two per boss. So that was cool. Unfortunately, they were not very good. Got anything? Ooh, we do have something. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, HP. Yeah, that's really cool for a physical damage set bonus. Ooh, wow. The subs are nice, though. Too bad the main stat's garbage. And we did get one. Awesome. Uh, da -da 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 HP, of course. Elemental Mastery. Eh, eh, eh. Damn, three five stars in a row. Royal Silver Urn. I've never gotten that one before. HP again. Stop. Well, I guess I could give it to Bar- Ah, I just raised like this to 20. It looks good at the start, but then it went to crit damage a bunch as the uh, hidden stat. But yeah, now I'm kind of thinking about giving her oblige. I, I was going to put it on Mona first. Five star? Nah, not this time. Come on, five star. Let's go. How about four five stars or five five stars? Or zero works as well. Bloodstained Flower of Iron. Well, it's a five star. Can't really complain, I guess. HP. Oh, well, of course it's HP. It's a flower. HP Defense Energy Recharge. No. Because this is like kind of a DPS set. Nothing. Got another five star. Bloodstained Chevalier's Goblet. Uh, hydro damage bonus. Rip. I would have liked this on the Oblige set. Um, in my case, it's farming artifacts. I don't think I have my third at, at 80 yet. I only have two at 80. Uh, nothing there. I mean, four stars can be good as well, I guess. Oh yeah, one four star this time. I feel like three more artifact runs for potentially some good artifacts, and even if not good artifacts, it's at least XP for other artifacts is better. Can we get a five star for that? No, we can't. Ooh, there we go. Viridescence Vessel. I hope it's good. These other two that I've gotten, physical damage, keep in mind this is Reventi, and pyro damage for Venti. That should be illegal. The two pieces animal damage bonus. Why would you ever give it to a fire unit? Or a physical focused unit? Eh? What is it? F HP with flat defense and flat attack. Shongyun? I don't, unfortunately don't have him. Ooh. We got a Viridescence Diadem. I don't think I've ever gotten that one before. Wait, let's check it real quick. Let me kill- And nothing here anyway. And I get nothing for my efforts. Still no five stars. Wow. It's kind of, uh... Not as fun doing it solo. Was that it? Did I miss anything? Still no five stars, by the way. Anything. No. Damn, this is like the, what, sixth run in a row with no five stars? Hopefully you, you guys got something, please. Yes, finally a five star. Element Mastery, Defense Attack. I would probably raise it, honestly. It's not the best. Only starts with three subs. I don't know if he really needs... Attack? Elements Mastery is obviously really good for Venti, but I'm gonna wait till I at least have a full set. Ah, we, there is a five star there. Watch this be like the best five star I've ever gotten because it's a, from a set I don't care about. Thunderbird's Mercy. Let's give it a look-see. Um, it's gonna be flat HP because it's a flower. Okay, never mind. It's not that good. Crit damage, I guess. Looks to be pretty high roll there, 7% starting roll. I was thinking about Thundering Fury for uh, Kaching. Unless it's a five star. If it's a five star, we're gonna upload one more moon. <laughs> it literally just said upload one more moon. Um, but it's it's not, so we're done. But yeah, all in all, we got some okay pieces, mostly four stars actually, but you know, that just makes sense. It's, it's dropping a lot more four stars, so your chances to get a decent four star are good. And that's not so bad either, because at the end of the day, you can raise those four stars, and then when you eventually do get some five stars, whether you're gonna wait for AR 45 or whatever, you can just dump those maxed out four stars into the five star. You get like 80 to 90% of the XP you put in the four star, 
And the cool thing is, what really surprised me is that the Mora cost is the same, whether you're using a plus zero artifact as fodder or a plus 16 artifact as fodder. It costs the same. This surprised me coming from Epic 7 because you just had to pay based on the amount of experience you were putting into it, you know? So with that information, you can be a lot more confident raising a not perfect artifact because you know you will have that experience or 80 to 90% of that experience, it'll stay. And the more cost is pretty much negi negligible. negligible. But yeah, that'll do it. As I'm doing this voiceover, I haven't yet calculated, but that will be on screen. At least an approximation of the drop chance at AR40. Hopefully that means anything to you or helps if you've been considering starting your artifact farming on AR40 or AR45. You do get a guaranteed four star and often two. So I wouldn't say it's horrible to start farming. You know, maybe you have a half five star, half four star set. And then once you get up to AR45, you can start farming you know, mainly five stars and eventually slowly replace your four stars with five stars. With that information we have that it's actually not that inefficient to throw your four stars into the five stars, you know, put the old into the new. But yeah, that'll do it. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like if you didn't enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. You can check out my discord, make sure to subscribe, turn on bell notifications if you actually want to see all my future videos. But yeah, of course, very much appreciated if you do follow one or more of those things I, I, I requested. <laughs> What? God, just shut up in the video. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.